everybody and welcome to hole and number four, part three of the White Cliffs in the South Coast Tournament. The video is sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic, so let's go. Here you can see me backing up and I'm gonna play on the tiny island that we do have before the water. Why do I want to do that? It's because I don't have the backspin enough to play down below with my wood club. So I'm going to use three bars of topspin in headwind and as much side spin to the right possible. I'm going to play it 30% maximum distance. So maximum distance 30% using almost one ball of curl outside the adjustment ring to the right to get this ball to kick in towards the pin. And then you maybe wonder why don't you use a ball with more side spin? Yeah, that's correct. Because we co could of course use more side spin on our ball to give ourselves less curl with our approach. Have in mind that if you do have a wind left to right, don't go max curl, you will possibly put yourself into the bunker. But if you do have a wind that is against you, that I mean like it's right to left, then you will always need to go with max curl. You can see it's three bars of topspin went a little bit short, but three and a half would be perfect. So three and a half in headwind, if we do have a crosswind, I would go with two and a half. If I do have a tailwind, I would go with two. It's rather that we, uh, it's, uh, we rather want to come in hot than we want to come in short. The reason our opponent did do as it did here with um, his or her shot is because if you play on the fairway down there, it go you need to add more for the elevation. You need to play 50% downhill to be able to hit the spot that you're aiming for there. So for those of you that maybe we have a headwind, and for those of you that has a lower level guardian, it could be a better time, a better thing to go directly down to the lower fairway. Last but not least, by adjusting for the tiny uh, bit, and I'm actually gonna just replay so we can see the first fairway spot there the the thing that i do want you to do is that you do need to back up so you're not adjusting the in, into the slope or going down into the water because if you drop with your target from a higher point to a lower point you're gonna lose distance and that's gonna mess up completely so stick with your target up there on that spot and you're gonna be fine so this was hole number four part three of the white cliffs in the south coast tournament if you do want to get the text guys for the south coast tournament check out patreon.com slash golf clash tom if you like the content take your time hit thumbs up before you go video is sponsored by golf clash and playdemic so good luck in the south coast tournament